Yeah, well, I have a question for Mina, uh, if it's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are on the topic of reinvention, and you've mentioned a couple times that your your organization has kind of shifted over the last few years. How is it that you're able to help your clients now? What is well, that? Well, thank you for that, yeah. because I was just thinking when we were talking about reinventing, and it's like that's in a sense what we're exactly doing is not only changing people's mindsets through their belief systems, because that's really what coaching is all about. Yeah. It's shifting mm -hmm. your beliefs and really overcoming those limiting beliefs. But it's more than that, it's what Death had said before. It's through taking inspired actions that real change begins. Yeah. Right. I am a, I am infamous for saying these little cliche sayings, whether we're on our radio show, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which is called Speak Up and Step Out. It's a weekly radio show on Tuesdays from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm always saying, you know, just do it. I, I, I steal it from Nike all the time. Because sometimes it's the way you walk through the fear, and I think you know, um, I know that Roseanne also mentioned it. Is you face it, you face your fears, and that's the reason the story for myself on the website is face your fears. The way that we help clients is was amazing because I know for a fact when I see that twinkle in their eyes in a matter of five minutes, when I meet someone at the grocery store, I'll share one quick uh, one quick uh, client story. She actually wanted to sign up for coaching at a grocery store. We connected at such a deep level within literally five, not even, I swear, I think it was a matter of two to three minutes. She loved the energy. She knew that she needed to make a change. She wanted to reinvent herself, which is what we're talking about. Yeah. She said, yep, absolutely, give me your business card. She wasn't embarrassed. Like some people would have these limiting beliefs. Oh well, what's the stranger doing? To, you know, talking to her in the middle of a grocery store, exchanging phone numbers. She didn't let anything limit her, and yeah, her business yeah. has grown as a result of us working together. That's only one. Another yeah. one, quickly, a client story is she literally got a text message after working together for three months from her husband that said, "My beautiful bride," and he hadn't said this to her in. Years, I'm talking about wow. decades, and this is only after three months of coaching. Can you yeah. imagine? You have to open up those pathways. Yeah. Exactly. So she's yeah. also reinventing herself, and it's, it's, yeah. I'm glad that this was the topic today. And yeah. it's not just about us talking about and booing and going, "Oh my God, I've been beaten. I've been this. Oh, I've got a problem right. with addiction." No, get yourself back up, pull yourself up by the bootstraps, as I say, yeah. and get going. Let's shake and bake. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Awesome. We gotta shake that leg. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.